Hey, thanks for watching. Right now, we're going to go through a very short passage in chapter 20 of the book of Matthew. And we're going to go through what I call a Bible verse for communism. Now, wait before you turn this video off. This is going to be a Bible verse that, on the superficial appearance, when you first read it, it might seem like it supports communism. But... It actually is the opposite, and we're going to look at that. So it's actually the opposite. It does not support it. This shows the opposite is true. So let's see. All right. For the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for a denarius a day, which is... A denarius is a coin that has a certain value of money. So one denarius a day. He sent them into his vineyard, and going out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. They're doing nothing. They're standing around. And to them he said, You go into the vineyard too, and whatever is right, I will pay, I will pay you. I will give you. So they went, going out again about the sixth hour, and the ninth hour he did the same. He keeps hiring more people. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing. And he said to them, Why do you stand here, idle, all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You go into the vineyard too. And when evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Call the laborers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last up to the first. <clears throat> And when those hired about the eleventh hour came, each of them received a denarius. Now when those hired first came, they thought they would receive more. But each of them also received a denarius. And on receiving it, they grumbled at the master of the house, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me to work for a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give this last worker as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? So the last will be first, and the first last. Now, on the outside, this might appear to show that communism is true because everyone gets paid the same amount for differing amounts of work. But that's not what this is showing at all. These men who were hired by the master of the house... Were, they all agreed to work for one denarius. And so, at the beginning of the day, the man said, I will pay these first people one denarius. And so, instead of paying more to those who worked more, and less to those who worked less, he decided to give everyone a salary. And everyone who works for his company is going to get paid a salary at the end of the month. That's all the same. But that's not an attempt to equalize everyone. That's just generosity. And so he is equalizing everyone, but he's doing it out of generosity, not because of some communist principle. But look at the response of the workers. He... These you know, some of them have been working for all day long, and some of them have been working for one hour. But the people who've been working for all day long, they're not jealous that someone else got more than they do. They're jealous that someone else got exactly the same as they do. And so these other people who worked only one hour long, they did not get paid more money than the people who worked 
all day long. You know, these some people worked for 12 hours. Uh, they didn't get any less money. These people are angry because everyone else was paid the same amount. And they were envious, and they were jealous, and they were angry, and they were upset. Because someone else was paid the same amount of money as they were. Doesn't that undermine communism a little bit? If you're a communist, and you think that everyone should be paid the same amount of money, you think that this belief system of economic communism is going to remove greed, and that it's going to remove envy, and that it's going to remove jealousness over who gets paid more money. But at the end of the day, the Bible shows in a very relatable, this is a, this is a very relatable common sense story. This is something that I could imagine happening today. If some uh, business owner hires me to work for 12 hours a day and hires someone else who, to, to work one hour a day and he pays us both $50, I would feel per perhaps a little jealous. Like, why am I being paid only $50? When this guy is also paid $50. This is very, this is, this is very, very, very relatable, very common to our life today. This is something I could see happening today. And so communism and people, who, you who are, you people who are communists, you think that you are going to remove jealousy and envy and dissatisfaction by paying everyone the same amount of money. But at the end of the day, people are still going to be even more jealous. They're going to be even more jealous. Because people who worked less than they did, and who did less work than they did, will get paid the same amount. And it makes people very unhappy and sad and angry. So communism doesn't save us from envy and greed. And look at what God says at the very end. Take away the, light, the blockage here, so you can see. And on receiving, and on receiving it, they grumbled at the master of the house, saying, "These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat." But he replied to one of them, "Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go." I choose to give this last worker as I gave to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? So the last will be first and the first last. What this shows is several things. If you make an agreement with someone to work for a certain amount of pay, then you made an agreement with whoever you're working for to work for that amount of money. So if you're in the union or whatever, and if you already make a pre-existing a pre arrangement with a, a boss or with an employer, and he says, I'll, I'll hire you for this amount of money. And then later on you say, I wanted more. Well... That's not right, because you already agreed in the past that you're going to work for a certain amount of money. It might be better just to find another job if that's the case. But the employer does have a moral point that he, he only, the employer only has a certain amount of money. You know, employers are not filthy, that filthy rich all the time. An employer only has a certain amount of money. He has to decide what to do with it, and it's his money. Am I the you know God in this story? God says, "Am I not allowed to do what I choose with my own money that belongs to me?" So, if you're working in a job, your employer.